watching out for you. This is News 4 at 10. I did have sex with Eric Kirkwood. Do you think it's okay for you as a coach to have a sexual relationship with one of your female players? Repeat the question again. Two coaches of a St. Louis County girls softball team answering what they did with a 17-year-old player. News 4 investigates uncovering the disturbing allegations in a story that can be difficult to watch. Investigator Susan Alcori explains why this hasn't been brought to light until now. The testimony you're about to hear is disturbing. It's part of a civil lawsuit filed against the two men. We've learned there's also a criminal investigation being done by St. Louis County Police. The girl at the center of this reached out to us. She's not ready to put her name and face out there, but both her and her lawyers want her story shared. She told us her goal in all of this is to make sure that what she went through doesn't happen to anyone else. Dreams of playing for an elite girls softball team dashed. You had sex with her, didn't you? Yes. As one former St. Louis Sticks coach followed by another. Isn't it true that you uh, had oral sex inside that building with Jane Doe? Yes, sir. Both admit under oath. You sound like words of the testimony about there was more going on off the field with the teenage athletes they were trusted to teach. The truth, I hope you got. I do. These video depositions of Aaron Byington and Alex Walters are hours long. Nothing but the truth, I hope you got. Yes. They're public court records in a civil lawsuit. Neither coach has been criminally charged. The player goes by Jane Doe to protect her identity. She's suing Byington and Walters, along with the locations where she says the coaches sexually assaulted her. Doe was part of the St. Louis Sticks. It's a competitive team for girls 18 and younger that played out of the Kirkwood Athletic Association. Byington was the head coach. Walters assisted him. Both were also on the Kirkwood Athletic Association payroll. In the lawsuit, Doe claims the abuse started in 2020 with Byington and Walters each grooming her. She says it evolved to repeated sexual assault that continued for a year. According to the suit, Doe was 17 years old when she joined the team. Walters was 27 and Byington was 36. Do you think it's okay for you to have sexual relationships with your female players? If a female player is of age, a consenting age, then I would say yes. Under Missouri law, the age of consent is 17. However, in the lawsuit, Doe claims what happened to her was childhood sexual abuse and sexual abuse. Byington testified he sent Doe nude photos. He also described stretching her and other players during practices. Something he said happened in plain sight of other girls and adults. I stretched her in the parking lot. And stretching her, you would rub your body up against, press your body up against yes, hers. Yes, sir. He testified he didn't have formal training in this technique. He said things went farther at least once when the team traveled to Branson, Missouri for a tournament. Did you do anything other than stretch Jane Doe when you were in the parking lot by the clubhouse? Bodily grinding. Byington was adamant about one point. I've never had sex with any players. Have you ever had sex with Jane Doe? No, sir. He believes what happened with Doe. Isn't it true that you had oral sex inside that building with Jane Doe? Yes, sir. Didn't count as sex. I don't see that I've caused any harm to anybody. Because you deny that you've ever had sex with any player. Could you be more specific when you use the word sex, please? Well, it kind of sounds like Bill Clinton's deposition in the impeachment trials. Objection, what, what, argumentative. What is your definition of having sex with a player? Um, I would say that my definition of having sex with a player would be genital to genital penetration. Byington did testify that he gave Doe private lessons at the Kirkwood Athletic Association when the building was closed. He said he'd take her into this storage building alone. How many times do you remember having oral sex with her in the shed? Twice. In the lawsuit, Doe claims Walters physically abused her during sex 
something he was questioned about. If you'd like to characterize it as abuse, then I, I did spit on her. Isn't it true you would punch her to where you would bruise her? No, not to my knowledge. You would pull her hair? Yes. Cause her pain? Yes. Walters testified he had sex with Doe in multiple places, including the Kirkwood Athletic Association, his car, and the Wildwood apartment he shared with his parents. Were you worried that you were causing her physical pain? No, I should have been. Did you worry you were causing her emotional pain? No, I should have been. Did you ever explain to Jane Doe why making her cry or spitting on her or punching her turned you on? I don't remember. When asked how the deposition was going, Walters opened up. It's uh, one of the most difficult things I've had to do. Can you tell me why? So I understand that uh, what I've done is really caused Jane Doe some, some harm, uh, and it wasn't right. And if you had to do it again, you wouldn't. You agree? Uh, I agree. But he and his lawyer chose not to answer multiple questions, including if anything happened with other girls on the team. You have had sex with other ball players that you've coached, isn't that true? Based upon my advice, I'll just going to assert his Fifth Amendment rights under the Constitution concerning possible self-incrimination and decline to answer that question. Using my Fifth Amendment right. Those depositions are now here at the St. Louis County Police Department. We know the girl in this case filed a report last fall. It's been under investigation for almost a year. We tried to ask officers about what's taking so long. They wouldn't answer that question directly, but told us they continue to investigate the case and plan on sending it to prosecutors within the next couple of months. Both men testified that as of last fall, they no longer work for the Kirkwood Athletic Association or the St. Louis Sticks. Byington said he quit. Walters claimed he resigned after getting a text from the Kirkwood Athletic Association's treasurer, Jim Woodruff. And he said something along the lines of, if what we've heard is true, uh, we will need you to resign. Uh, it was already in my plans to resign prior to him sending that text message. We wanted to ask Woodruff about that. He wasn't at the Kirkwood Athletic Association, We're gonna need but we going did on. talk to him over the phone. Both uh, myself and president of the league uh, reached out to him and said, if you were involved in something like this, we want your resignation. Did anyone from KAA take this to police? We didn't take it to the police, no. Okay. Any reason why? Because of, <laughs> I think we, uh, you know, I shouldn't even say because I, I'm just not remembering exactly how all of this came down. Woodruff told us the Athletic Association did not require employees or coaches to do training to prevent sexual misconduct and abuse. Hey, Eckmeyer, we also called the president of the association. He called back to say he had no comment because of the lawsuit. There are no games on the field anymore. The association shut down last fall, claiming they ran out of money. As for the former coaches, News 4 investigates reached out to both men. Byington said no thanks when we tried to talk to him. Walters hung up. When Walters left the sticks, he was also coaching at St. Louis Community College Merrimack. He said he resigned from that job. Did you hear any kind of rumors about yourself and any kind of player with a relationship with any kind of player at Merrimack? Yes. Merrimack sent News 4 investigates a statement saying we have no record of complaints about Walters from any student, faculty or staff member. Walters also worked in Rockwood schools where he coached baseball at Marquette High School from 2018 to 2019. He then worked in the classroom as a substitute teacher for a few months in early 2021. That fell within the same time period he testified he was having sex with Jane Doe. In a statement to us, 
Rockwood schools claim there have been no allegations of inappropriate contact with a Rockwood student that the district is aware of. Walters and Byington say they're not currently coaching. Since they have not been criminally charged, they can work with other teams and kids. It's all him. We checked to see what Byington and Walters are doing now. Byington says he's in construction. Walters is working for Explore St. Louis as an event manager. We do want to stress we reached out to everyone involved and gave them all chances to respond. No one wanted to sit down with us. Right now in Missouri, there's no statewide requirement for youth sports coaches to be trained on preventing sexual misconduct and abuse. There is a federal requirement, but it wouldn't apply here. In 2017, Congress passed what's called the Safe Sport Act. It's for Olympic affiliated teams. It also establishes that there's a power imbalance between coaches and players and that they can't be involved in sexual acts until the player turns 20. You can count on us to keep following the civil suit and criminal investigation in this case. Susan L. Corey, News 4 Investigates. And the defendants in this case now want the court record sealed. They filed a motion saying Kane will be reached out and the case should not be tried in the court of public opinion. Jane Doe's lawyer filed a response saying they want the record kept open because they argue that parents and potentially other victims have the right to know. And we'll have full statements from the two schools that did respond. You can find all of that right now on the KMOV News app and KMOV.com. Remember that News 4 is always watching out. If you have a problem, contact 4, email investigates at KMOV.com. You can also send your story on the Facebook page or call the newsroom tip line.